What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And if you're tuning in, make sure to consider joining the garage if you haven't joined the garage. And thank you for the love and support. And if y'all watching, make sure y'all stay all the way through. And I appreciate y'all, man. Let's uh, hit the 1K. So recent uh, video, I thought my fuel pump was bad or had some type of issues. All my wiring stuff was correct on the top side. But from the fuel pump to the bulkhead, I had to change these two wires in order for this pump to properly work. Shout out to Bounty Enthusiast because he had pointed out that the uh, pump was running backwards and he's seeing like little bubbles and stuff. So once again, shout out to you because I didn't even notice. This is my first time actually working with like a fuel pump and all that. Um, but hey, I learned something and I'm going to use this, you know, down the road. Um, and like I said, it's good to learn, uh, good to bounce off ideas from other people and thank God, you know, for youtube and all that for allowing me to help i mean eventually i'll probably figure it out but uh thank god we got this bad boy uh going so let's get in this video let me quit all the talking and man once again i appreciate y'all uh for watching so guys after thinking that this fuel pump had failed uh some uh guy named uh, bounty enthusiast um he nearly come on my video hey man i really appreciate you for your help like it, it means a lot. Um, you know, it's crazy. Small little things can like just stoop you over and you, you, you just go overhead. Uh, I didn't think about switching the wires halfway or just unplug that um, pig connector and just change to uh, red and black. But she pissed out good, man. Like, I'm really excited. Uh, like I said, man, thank you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's crazy how I dropped the video thinking that the fuel pump was bad or some type of issue. Uh, like I said, I was gonna get rid of Racetronics and all that, but hey man, you already saw my issue. Y'all see that? And that's spraying out good too. Spraying out real good, yeah. All right guys, we got her fixed. We got everything nice and neat. Um, I used some uh, heat shrink uh down to repin uh to redo the wire uh in the tank but it came out neat i shortened the wire uh, the wire was too long anyway but i made sure it was getting pressure out so we got pressure uh now uh moment of truth everything is nice and neat so i tried to uh outsmart it by uh switching the factory wiring uh from the gray uh to black and then the black to gray but unfortunately it blown the fuse so I couldn't do it that way. So I had to, you know, uh, change it uh, inside um, from the fuel pump uh, to this bulkhead connector. Just switch uh, black to red and red to black. And we don't have no issues. Uh, and everything is uh, ran nice and neat. Once again, shout out to the guy, uh, Bo Enthusiast. I hope I'm saying it right. But man, thank you. Uh, like I said, this went over my head. I wasn't too sure. That's why I asked for a pen and stuff and all. I mean, I know I was on right track, but I couldn't just pinpoint it. And then I had read some forms uh, once again. I don't know if I said it, but I had read some forms and I seen people having the same issue. They had to uh, switch the wire around. All right, guys. So moment of truth, moment of truth. Oh, yeah, we got the right uh, fuel level. Oh yeah, we got some pressure now. Now underneath the hood, I don't see no sign of no leak anywhere. Like, I'm surprised, but I don't see no leak. I'm re really, really, really surprised, man. We finally got, oh my gosh, y'all don't know how good that freaking feel. So we got pressure to the motor now. We already got our mount sensors switched. Man, uh, I'm going to clean up this truck. I'm going to make sure all my connections and stuff good. Um, Yeah, and then I'm going to just uh, talk to the tuner. I'm about to go ahead and redo this uh, wire to repin this wire. Um, I have to cut some of these wires off and then go from there. 
Uh, let me know if I need to get like a um something. I don't know what you would call it. Y'all let me know. Like I'm new to the stuff. I mean, I know about cars. I know the basics and all that. But like when it comes to modifications uh, and all that, uh, it could be um, intense. But I'm willing to learn it. And hey, I learned something new today. Well, yesterday night in particular, I learned something new. But I mean, everything is fairly simple. Like just changing out stuff. Um, but messing with the wiring and stuff. I mean, I came off the dome and off the diagram and stuff. But it was just them two wires at that fuel pump that we had to change out. But other than that, I mean, I felt like I did good. But that's a learning lesson right there. So, yeah, we don't have no leaks. I'm really surprised. Like, we literally don't have no leaks. Um, So, shoot. Man, 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 it feel good. And it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, man. I didn't even work on the Mercedes last night because I felt so good. Oh, man, this feels so good, man. It feels good, but I thought I thought the fuel pump was bad. Like, that thing had, you know, had me now. Come on. You got to get me a good shower in, too. I'm going to clean this Tahoe up, man. Man, that feels so goddamn good. We don't have no leaks at all. That is crazy. We have no leaks. Once again, guys, we don't have no leaks. I don't see nothing. I see no leaks. I see no leaks. I'm going to just pump it one more time. We got some good-ass pressure now. And our fuel level at the uh, right, too. And we got, like, 48 PSI. And we got the right level, too. So that was, uh, that's not bad. I feel good as hell. Pressure right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, now it dropped a little bit. Why is it dropping? Why is it dropping? All right, guys, we don't have no leaks. Our pressure be, uh, is like around like 45, 48. I check, we do not have no leaks at all. But I mean, when I cranked it over, I'm about around like 48 or so, but I know we're gonna need a tune and all that. Um, but I just turned the truck over to see. Uh, I don't have no leaks. Well, I don't even see no leaks anywhere. Um, so, I just got to tidy up a couple of things. That's all I need to do. Other than that, uh, she runs. And I had lost the goddamn fuse to this. I don't know where it's at, but hopefully I'll find it. Um, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to be talking to the tuner, but I'm going to try to clean up everything um, before I do that and to make sure I have everything. I um, mean, the only thing I had to do is just change my spark plugs, fuel injectors, a bigger fuel pump. We got everything uh, in line, which is a good thing. Man, 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 man. So, yeah. I'm not going to get my hopes up too, um, too hopey hope um, because guess what? That transmission that we got in, it's a used one. Hopefully it worked. The guy told me it works. I was going to get a brand spanking new uh, transmission. I think it was going to be like about... 13 or 14 somewhere in that price range i was going to get it from this company in australia but they don't ship out i don't know if they ship out now because I, I talked to the, the guy or whatever who i guess owned the company or whatever and he told me they only ship out australia um and then who was some i think it's jags somebody was going to get a transmission from a 408 but anyway I'm just fingers crossed this transmission run. Like we got everything dialed in. I got my fan wire um, dialed in. Now that fan wire harness, I had that wired up, wired up wrong. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I had to go back. I figured that out myself and stuff. So I had to like really think that through. Like what the hell? So I had to like look at other diagrams on the web. And I mean, I ended up getting it. So fan cuts on when you know I needed to have it on. And, uh, yeah, we just need to tidy up everything. Hopefully, we don't have no boost leaks. I'm pretty sure we don't. Everything look nice and stout and tight. So, 
We will see. We will see. It's going to be pretty fun, man.